please subscribe to my YouTube channel and like this video. Your support is appreciated. This is my two-year-old dog, and I have taught him how to mark, how to look out, how to do a go out, and now I'm teaching him how to hold that mark even in the face of a distraction. So if the judge comes walking by, or there's a squeaky toy, or something happens, I want my dog to be able to continue to hold his focus. So this is a little um, proofing thing that I'm doing for him um, to teach him how to ignore one of his favorite toys, which is the flirt, and to hold that go out. And then if he holds the go out look, what I will do is reward him with what he really wants is the toy. And then I will also do some send outs to the mark. Mark. Good boy, good. So I start with little increments of success. So I'm not looking for a huge amount. I've done only um, like a few minutes of this training with him before this. So this is definitely at the early stages of teaching. Good mark. So what I wanna do is micro mark just mark the small successes and then build on those successes. Okay, ready? Get ready. Good boy. That's nice. Beautiful. Good. Mark. 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 Yes! Good boy. That was very good. Good. Good job. So I asked him to do a task, and that task is mark. So if I asked him to sit, and he kept popping out of the sit, you know, it's sort of the same thing. It's that I gave him a cue. It's a different type of cue, of course, but it is a cue. And so you shouldn't stop doing that behavior until I release you to do something different. Go ahead. Ready, ready, ready? Okay, ready? Good job. Good boy. Nice. Nice. Mark. Mark. Run. Yes. Good boy. Good. Good. Okay, so that was a little bit challenging because I sent him when he was like so not expecting it, but it's another form of proofing because he did listen to what I asked him to do, which was run, so just go, and it wasn't a release to the toy. So that was really good on, on his part because he was able to discriminate and think, and that's what I'm trying to do is teach a dog that can think and get rewarded for that. Okay, ready? Ready? All right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh. Oh. Ready? And ready? Set up this time. Good. Good job. Good. Okay. Good job. Mark. Good boy, good. And that would be enough of this for him today. Okay, this is Pounce. Um, she is an experienced dog on directed jumping and go outs, but she has always had a really hard time holding her mark or even getting her to look out. So um, I kind of started this with her because of her. So um, some of the things I've been doing with her, I use the ball. Sometimes when I send her on the go out and if she holds a focus, I will release her with the ball. So we'll just play around a little bit. Okay, ready? Good girl. Mark. Yes, good 
girl. And it wasn't easy for her. It wasn't easy for her in the beginning to understand this, uh, but she did master it. And uh, but I'll, I'll probably still have to remind her because the ball for her, the flirt toy, anything is like it's a huge distraction right in their face. Right here, I am teaching Pounce how to hold her go out mark even though I am not in the position right next to her. It's just another challenge to keep her marking skills strong. When she holds her focus, that is when I send her. I also have mirrors in front of me so I can see exactly what she is doing. Be creative and come up with some ideas that will help your own dog.